who were the Nephilim these perplexing beings mentioned in age-old texts? The term Nephilim is a compelling one, deeply rooted in mystery. The first reference to these beings can be traced back to the book of Genesis in the Bible, where they are described as a group of individuals who lived on earth before the Great Flood. But who were they, really? The theories are as diverse as they are engrossing. Some propose the Nephilim were fallen angels exiled from the heavens for defying divine order. Others suggest they were giants, dwarfing men in both stature and strength. However, a more contentious theory presents them as a crossbreed between humans and non-human entities, perhaps even satanic creatures using human women as vessels for their offspring. Join us as we delve into the historical background of the Nephilim and explore the theories surrounding them. The Nephilim, a term that has baffled scholars for ages, are first mentioned in the book of Genesis. This ancient text, penned millennia ago, provides the earliest known reference to these enigmatic beings. The term Nephilim is of Hebrew origin, and its exact translation sparks intense debate among linguists and theologians. It has been interpreted as fallen ones, giants, or those who cause others to fall. In the book of Genesis, the Nephilim are described as the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. This cryptic phrase has given rise to numerous theories, some suggesting that the Nephilim were the result of unions between celestial beings and human women. However, others argue that the term doesn't refer to divine beings at all, but rather to a race of non-human creatures, possibly even satanic entities, who used human women as vessels for their offspring. Could the Nephilim have been the product of a forbidden union between humans and non-human entities? This theory, though unsettling, challenges traditional beliefs and urges us to look beyond what we think we know. It posits that these satanic creatures, for reasons unknown, chose to procreate with human women, resulting in the birth of the Nephilim. These offspring bearing the genes of both humans and their non-human parents were unique, unlike anything the world had ever seen. The Nephilim, according to this theory, were a disturbing crossbreed, born in a time when our reality was very different from what we know today. The Nephilim, a term that sparks both curiosity and fear, continued to be a subject of intrigue among scholars. Despite the multitude of theories, one thing is clear. They were not ordinary humans. They were a breed of beings that were more than human, challenging our understanding of the world and its history. But the most controversial theory we discussed is their non-divine origin. This theory suggests a more disturbing possibility, that they were the crossbreeds of humans and some non-human creatures. This idea posits that these creatures may even have been satanic beings who used human women as breeding vessels for their offspring. The Nephilim met their end in a world-altering event known as Noah's Flood. The Bible, in the book of Genesis, narrates the story of God's decision to cleanse the earth of its wickedness through a great flood. The Nephilim were not spared from this divine judgment. Despite their purported strength and stature, they were unable to escape their fate. Their physical presence may have been swept away by the flood, but their legend has endured, passed down through generations in the form of stories and scriptures. The Nephilim, once mighty and fearsome, were no match for the divine wrath of the flood, marking an end to their reign on earth. But does this truly mark the end of the Nephilim, or is there more to their story? These are questions that continue to fuel our fascination with these enigmatic beings, a tantalizing puzzle waiting to be solved.